What does a snowman taste like? Like a marshmallow ice? Oh my goodness. You guys, Bernard is helping our little snowman shed a few pounds before Christmas Day. Good morning, guys. I cannot believe I'm vlogging today. I've been so bad at vlogging lately and I apologize so, so much. Once you guys find out why, you'll understand. Um, I've just been super tired and I've been working a lot, but it is Christmas Eve. Sambo is getting very, very excited. You cleaning your sunglasses, bud? Yes, but I know can see in the door. This is my can clean my sunglasses. That's how you can clean your sunglasses? Yeah. Good job, bud. Before we get started on our adventure today, though, I did want to share with you guys what we have been up to in the last few days because, you guys, we have had lots of fun, haven't we? We've been doing lots of crazy fun things. We went to have a brunch with Santa on Sunday at the Grove, which was so much fun. So they started off doing some dancing, which Sempo was a little bit unsure about. Um, then they all got to have a balloon made for them, and then they sat down and had a yummy snack. So they all got to take home their little placemat. They got to have some yogurt, a fruit drink, and an apple, and then they got to see Santa and get a little present from him too. So it was a fun morning. After that, we went to have our photos with Santa, didn't we? Yeah, and that was super fun. Sambo got to tell Santa what he wanted for Christmas this year. What do you want for Christmas from Santa? Bye. A bike! Are you super excited? Yeah. He's coming tonight. I wonder if he's going to bring you a bike. Yeah. How exciting! Yeah. Do you think he will? Yeah. You reckon he will bring you a bike? Have yeah. you been good this year? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we got to do that once we got home unfortunately our little wand broke our balloon wand broke um, but just as it broke and the meltdown happened uh, we actually had an ice cream truck Pedro I think it's Pedro came down our street literally at the right time um, so Samba got to have an ice cream as well I wanted to make the day as fun as I could yesterday we spent pretty much the entire day cleaning getting ready for today not that you could tell from the state of my house um, but we did spend the entire day cleaning we did the bathrooms and the bedrooms and vacuuming and mopping and everything I've just got the main family room to do now which is something that I'm probably gonna do tonight to be honest after this little munchkin goes to bed because his toys are everywhere and it's literally just a waste of time me putting anything away but today I, I, what are you doing you're so crazy. Uh, but today we are going to go do something fun. We are going to go and try and support some of our local growers in the Adelaide Hills. If you're not familiar with what's been going on, we've had some pretty nasty bushfires here over the last few days. Oh my goodness. Um, it's been really, really bad actually. The fires are a lot worse than what we originally thought that they were going to be. So it's pretty sad. Oh my goodness. So many people are afraid to go up into the hills and visit the growers that are not not too close to the fires um, so they're also mama. losing money so it's not just the people being affected by fires me, it's mama. a lot of the other growers as well so today we're gonna go you up me, to mama. Summertown oh my gosh you're so funny uh, we're gonna go up to Summertown and pick some cherries and then we're gonna head over to Handorf and pick some strawberries and they're gonna be super fresh they're gonna be amazing I'm thinking I might Look at me, dip mama. some of the cherries in dark chocolate and coconut Look at me, mama. make a little cherry ripe I don't know I'll show you guys Look later at today me, mama. And then I thought I might dip some Look of the strawberries in chocolate as well. But I need some strawberries Look for the pavlova that I've made. So we're going to do lots of cooking this afternoon. A lot of prep work for Look Christmas Day me, lunch. Mama. A lot of it is already done. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to finish off our Christmas shopping. Oh, that's pretty much finished. We're going to finish off the food part of the shopping for Christmas. Um, go pick some fruit, support our local growers. And then we might actually take a case of water to the fire department. That's something I was going to do yesterday and I didn't get time to do. So we have a busy day. Let's go. As we made it to our first stop. We're actually here at... Hey. Is it Wattons Cherries? Wattons yeah. Cherries in Summertown. It's just between Summertown and Uradla, um here in the Adelaide Hills. And look at this. Look at this view. It is so beautiful. We're so thankful that they're even open today given the fires. Yeah. The fires are far enough away from us here that yeah. we should be safe. But you can see in the distance yeah. um, all of the smoke haze, which is a bit scary. But we're fine where we are. We're going to go pick some cherries. And yeah, we'll see you guys when we get in there.
gonna put some strawberries in there? Yeah. day today I am about to make some bonbons I have a kit here to make bonbons um, I don't know if I've told you this but every year I make our own bonbons so rather than getting the ones at the store that have just absolute crap in them and the same jokes every year I make some with funny jokes adult jokes um, so first off I'll put like a really nice chocolate in there this time I got some lint chocolates I got some peppermint ones like an after-dinner mint to have on the table I also have some water pistols um, and then comes the jokes. I actually printed these off. So there is a section on Google where you can look up Dirty Santa jokes and there's some pretty funny ones like, why doesn't Santa have any children? Because he only comes once a year and things like that. It gets the table laughing. Everyone loves it. It's so different to your standard boring jokes. Um, there are a lot more dirtier jokes in that page. I have a few so I thought I'd put maybe two in each um, bonbon but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some bonbons right now. I also have something different to put in Sambo's bonbon rather than the mint chocolates because he's not going to like those. So these are the bonbons. They come already pre-made. You can get them from Riot the craft shop. You can get them from Spotlight. Um, I don't know if you can get them from any of the department stores but I know you can get them from Spotlight and I know you can get it from the craft stores so I think they come in like a six or an eight pack something similar to that um, these are just leftovers from last year so they come already pre-cut everything's ready to do this particular pack didn't come with any of the poppers so I got these extra this year so that I have them for this year and next year um, this is the chocolate that I'm going to put in Sambo's so I'm going to get working on these real quick while I'm waiting for the dishwasher and then I'm going to get back to cooking Days without water along the sun so grown We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for While you. While I'm talking about things that are handmade, this table centerpiece was pretty much all handmade. So the little napkins, I actually got these from Kmart, they were $2 for a two pack and then I just put some twine around it. I saw that on Pinterest and I thought it was super cute. These were also from Kmart. These were $4.50 for a four pack. Um, they're just in the party section. I thought that was so cute. By the way, in case you're wondering about the spelling of the words, this is how Sam says daddy. So he's like, daddy, daddy. So I thought it'd be cute to uh, write it the way that Sambo says it. 
The lights are just the little copper lights. I actually got these from Coles. Um, they were out on clearance the other day for $4 a packet. I got two packets. I wish that I'd got some more now because they've completely sold out, but that was $4 for like a 10 meter strand. So I actually got two strands. I put one at the front door. All of this greenery is actually live. I picked this off of a tree down the road the other day because that's what I do. Um, again, pine cones, I picked them up off the ground. So they were free. These baubles were from a pack from Coles. They were reduced down to $2 for the whole pack. So I've managed to put a bunch of those on the table. Um, the glass house candles I already had. And then this little bowl I already had. And I just put some candy canes in there for now. So that is pretty much it. The trees on the end, I don't know if you remember, but last year, at Christmas time I picked them up after Christmas from uh, Kmart I believe pretty much everything is from Kmart you guys um, they were $2.50 for a two pack they didn't have anything like that this year which I was a bit disappointed in but I got two packs of them last year and I think they look really cute on the table and then just to finish it off I was actually trying to find a burlap table runner but I couldn't find one anywhere this year so or at least not one that fit a uh, super long table so I just went with brown paper and I think it looks so so cute and then obviously the little bonbons that I just made so I'm very very happy with it we also got these from Kmart this year um, I think this was six dollars for the pack so there's a treat for Santa a treat for the elf and a treat for the uh, reindeer so yeah this is what we've been up to else that I've been super busy on I think I mentioned it earlier in the vlog is I have been cooking up a storm for Christmas up here we have some little Oreo balls that are made to look like little Christmas puddings. So I just did a dollop of white chocolate on the top there. We have our ham that I need to get out and take the skin off tonight. Uh, we have our turkey that is throwing out. This is just a turkey thigh roll, you guys. This is like the holy grail of turkey. It's so easy to cook. These two together are going to be amazing. Down here, I've prepped all the vegetables. So I've got potatoes in there. Um, I actually did a mixture of white potatoes and like the purpley colored potatoes. So that should look nice like rainbow potatoes. We have broccoli and cauliflower in this one to do a broccoli and cauliflower bake. And then green beans in that one. And I'm going to do the same green beans that I did at Thanksgiving. So the honey and what was it? Almonds one. So I'm gonna do the honey and almonds, one of those. Behind here, we have have some peppermint slice we have some stuff to make some cookies tonight for Santa Claus um, we have like stacks of cheese and crackers and dips and all kinds of things in here and then down here we have all of our beautiful cherries that we got today and our strawberries so in a sec I'm gonna dip some of these in chocolate and then I'm also gonna put some on the pavlova which is over here I made this yesterday so I'm going to do a pavrol or I'm gonna to attempt to do a pavrol my nan used to make that all the time and I wish she was still here to tell me how to make it because I had to wing it that's pretty much what I was thinking about doing just like some bread and olive oil and balsamic vinegar for you know starters I uh, wasn't really gonna do an entree because we have so much food for lunch then we're gonna have the big roast lunch um, and then we're going to have the pav and the brandy snaps for dessert so there is a lot of food but I don't know it's Christmas you guys it's Christmas Something else that I've been working on real quick is getting this set up for tonight. So I've got Sambo's Santa key ready to go so we can hang it on the front door tonight. I have a special little surprise. Um, we've got some pajamas and a new toothbrush and a little box for him to paint tonight. So Bernard's final parting gift, you guys. I think Sambo is going to love it. Can you tell this is my favorite time of the year? I am so excited for tomorrow, you guys. You should have seen Sam this morning. He was going crazy. Um, he was just jumping up and down and running around and around and around the kitchen uh, because he knew that Santa was coming tonight. So I'm super excited. I can't wait for him. I did stop past Kmart real quick and get a couple of extra toys just because I'm a mama and that's what mamas do sometimes. Um, Sam has been banging on about getting Paw Patrol toys and I didn't get him any Paw Patrol toys. So I stopped and picked up two of the little dogs because I know that grandma is getting him three of the big trucks. I know he is so spoiled um but yeah this is this is where we're up to with our christmas tree you guys this this is matt's christmas present uh for those of you who follow me on instagram you guys know what this is i'm excited for matt to open it he is so annoyed at me for wrapping it up so he couldn't see it but this is pretty much all of that this is a super special family surprise for tomorrow morning. Um, I hope Matt gets it. It's supposed to be something else, but I had to improvise. So hopefully he gets the gesture. I don't know. Um, 
I don't know what they are. They're my presents. Matt wrapped them up. And then pretty much everything under here is Sambo's, you guys. Look at all those presents. <laughs> Look at all this mess. Next up, I have to pick up all of these toys, get this room tidy, and then I'm done. We are ready. We are ready for Christmas. Oh my gosh, it is tomorrow. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with Joy, mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend okay, no the day with you. Mm -mm, so All right, let's talk about what we did first. What did we do for Santa? Okay, so we've got a cookie for the reindeer. Reindeer's carrot cookie. We've got two little baby cookies for the elf, and then we have a giant cookie for Santa Claus. And then we have some milk. All right. Say good night, Christmas tree. Good night, Christmas presents. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Off to bed. See the truck. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Quick, Santa's in Australia already. Oh my goodness, okay, quick. Into bed. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's take your pillows off. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Quick, pull your sheet back. Into bed. In the, gotta get on top. <laughs> you silly goose. I don't need any presents. As long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful kissing.